This is General Black Suit Pens. I'm going to explain what refluxing is. Uh, refluxing is basically just boiling something. Uh, you know, if you have some things mixed together that you know you want to react, um, most times heat, you know, makes makes things react faster. You know what I mean? And uh, so, if you have liquids the hottest you can get it is it's boiling temperature right so that's the temperature you want it to be at if you have a reaction that's going to take longer than a second you know what I mean it's not instantaneous or whatever you might have to reflux it um, so you're just basically boiling it but you're so that you can make that reaction go faster sometimes you, you need it because you need that activation activation energy you know what I mean it just needs to be that hot for the reaction to go uh, other times, and most times, it's 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 about just speed. You know what I mean? It, instead of waiting a week, you, you're going to do it in an hour. You know what I mean? You're going to reflux it. Uh, <clears throat> that's basically all it is. You're just heating it up as high as you can. You, and refluxing it means boiling it to where you don't lose the vapors. And I'm going to show you with this apparatus. Okay, there's basically only three parts to a reflux apparatus. One being your heat source, which I have lighters here to represent that. The pot. The pot is always the flask that holds the reaction. That's always called the pot. So here we have a 500 milliliter round bottle flask. And the third piece is this condenser. Basically, it's just a tube within a tube. The inner tube is where the gases come up, and the outer tube is where the water. See how I have the adapter thing here? And one's up here. Always put your water pumping up. And you can think of it, well, why would I have a pump if I was just going to have it go down. Gravity will take it down. I always think of that because no matter how you set up your apparatus for whatever it is you always pump up. You pump the water in and up. Now for reflux you can use this type I think it's called a live big condenser. Um, but they do have a better one, and it's actually made for refluxing where it has the coil inside. So that means when the when I heat this up, it I, I can boil it now and it'll go up into the condenser where the cold water is, you know, all surrounding that pipe inside there. And it'll condense and come back down, drip back down. You want it to be maybe a third of the way going up where you can see actual uh, condensation, you know, like little beads of liquid. If it starts going more than that, then you're refluxing too too much. You're putting too much heat into it. Uh, uh, one thing I learned about this is if you have your heat source here and you're using ice or whatever to cool this condenser down, you will go through so much ice it'll be unreal because your heat is just coming straight up straight directly onto your, what you're trying to cool so what I normally do is I put an adapter on here and you can always if you don't have an adapter you can always just tilt this a little bit you know what I mean tilt it so that the <coughs> Tilt it like that, and that way your heat comes up and it doesn't get all of this, you know what I mean? But see, if you think about it, this straight one, when the gases come up, it has nothing really to block it, you know what I mean? It will eventually touch the sides, but there's nothing really to block it from going straight up. If you look at this, 
each one of these coils it has to go it's it's going straight up right heat wants to rise it's going to hit each one of these coils and there's a bunch of coils in here man so each time it hits this it has a, a you know big chance of uh turning into a liquid and going back into the pot that's why this is so much better because instead of it going just straight up the pipe and hitting the sides eventually it's definitely going to hit it before it gets to the top of this now look how I have it I have the round bottom flask on there but I have this Y here so it comes over a little bit now you have two choices you can do this make kind of like a cone so that the heat rises and doesn't come up to this area or you can get some fiber board it's like insulating board like cork board and just lean it in there like that but make sure it doesn't catch on fire and it will take the heat and direct it that way you'd be amazed at how much you're saving ice or cold water it's it's amazing because otherwise the heat just comes straight up and heats what you're cooling it defeats the whole purpose so anyways now you can boil this all day and reflux it because that's all refluxing is is just boiling it but boiling it where you make sure that you don't lose anything all the vapors don't escape you know what i mean they get reflux back into the into the boiling flask so you can boil this all day and not lose any of your vapors okay i wanted to mention a couple things this coil type condenser the fumes go up inside this little tiny pipe you know what I mean? A little tiny pipe inside that's curled. So when it comes up, and I, don't, I just didn't want you to think that it was on the outside and trying to hit the coils. It's inside the coil. So it's definitely, if it rises, it has to. It has no choice. You can see right here, it'll come in. It has to hit the tops the entire way going up, meaning the top of the coil. Uh, the other thing is, is these coils need to be in a vertical position at all times when you're using it meaning an up and down like I have it right now you cannot have it at an angle at any angle whatsoever you need it straight up and down and the reason why is like if you use it for distillation and you have it like this at an angle instead of straight up and down what will happen is you'll get you'll get condensation in there I don't know if you can see any. But anyways, you'll get condensation in there, and it'll just set there, and it'll block the area. And now it's in it's in this cold part. It's not going to vaporize again. All it does is keep building up and building up, and it blocks this path, and then you get bumping. You know what I mean? It'll build up pressure trying to push that out, that liquid out, and it just it's it like slams your your uh, equipment. It's not good. Uh, so always have this in a vertical position. You cannot tilt it. Like I said, you, you know, when I had the other condenser on there, I said you can tilt this uh, to get it away from the heat, like, you know. And another thing is, is this uh, setup here where you're refluxing, this can actually be set up in conjunction with the distillation. So you can di distill something and also... Um, reflux it at the same time like let's say I had the uh, ammonia water in here and I just wanted the ammonia out I could heat this up and what would happen is the ammonia comes out but also the water comes out but if I put this condenser here the water comes up the ammonia comes up but the water would be condensed by this cold condenser but you're not going to condense ammonia you'd have to have it freezing I mean you you know you need some dry ice uh, so the ammonia will come out off the top you can distill the ammonia out and reflux the water back in uh, that's that's about it uh, 
Always remember, science is great.